Hi guys, I'd like to share with you my take on why being grateful really does change your life and sometimes maybe instantly. So I grew up hearing my parents tell me that I have to be grateful for everything I had, that I needed to be happy where I was, even if sometimes in childhood it really, at least to my remembrance, did not feel like what I was living, going through, or what I had was worthy of being grateful for. How do you explain to a child who's unhappy at school to be grateful for what they have? How do you tell any human being that going through a really tough time how do you tell a human being going through a tough time to be grateful, right? And maybe now you're thinking, yeah, how, why is everyone making such a big deal about being grateful? And what's so great about being grateful, right? So gratitude, just simply put, is a state of being where you appreciate what you have and now this is conflicting a little bit with what if we're not grateful for what we have in the current moment this will take a little bit of explanation of what the past future and present really means in a quantum way <coughs> this video is going to be a bit more spiritual than you expect it to be so we are living in a dimension of reality that is solid right so you can touch the chair can touch my hair with my permission you <laughs> you can seize this reality it's it's palpable but what if i told you that there are dimensions out of your sight out of your hearing spectrum, out of your reach, literally. <clears throat> what if I told you, in addition to what I just said, that you exist on all those dimensions at the same time? And what if I told you that everything that happens in this dimension, in this reality, was once in the above realities. Now I say above, but I have to construct it in a visual way for you to be able to see. Maybe you heard the saying, as above, so below. And maybe you heard the other saying featured in the prayer. Um, I don't know how they say it in English, but uh, it's part of Hail Mary full of grace may your or or the other one um and it goes like may your name be sanctified or <sighs> my god don't hold me accountable and basically what it means is that everything that exists in your reality was a thought just like every project that the world has seen manifest, just like everything that you ever wanted, it began as a thought. You wanted something and then you have it. Right? It's just basic law of attraction. Now, a little bit about the universe that you live in. It's not only stuff we can touch. So if you would allow me and or yourself for a little bit of mind expansion, I can then be able to explain why being grateful brings you even more. Let's say you exist on all these dimensions of reality. That might be a little bit hard to seize with your mind because the mind always wants to categorize things and sometimes we have learned things maybe in school or in our cultures that might contradict what I'm telling you right now. And so please have an open mind. 
And if you don't and you think this is becoming a bit too woo-woo, then I don't know what to tell you. So different dimensions. How these different dimensions are different is in the frequency of the particles that consist these dimensions. Most of our third dimensional existence is made of carbon-based molecules, which is very dense and visible, not the molecule itself, but upon forming something, it becomes visible to our eyes. Okay. The lighter you get, well, not the lighter you get, but these particles, upon moving, create waves, frequency. These frequency are low. The higher the frequency, the particle changes, transmutes, and becomes more crystalline. So like crystals, you know, not like crystals, but the molecule is more crystalline based than carbon based. What happens when you increase a frequency? Sometimes we cannot catch it with our eyes anymore or with our ears. So for example, you know how dogs and cats and bats all have different hearing ranges and visual ranges. Well, that's basically what's up, is that the higher the dimension, the less we can perceive it. And that's when your extrasensory abilities may have to come into play. That's where people, clairvoyant people, clairaudient, claircognizant people can grasp information. And everyone has those skills, literally. It's not what they teach you in school. That's one thing for sure. Let's put the school system aside. But... <clears throat> These are skills that we all have. Okay. Gratitude. Our thoughts <clears throat> are basically electrical signals sent from one neuron to another. Not only one, but it's like many neuron... In every video. <laughs> every neuron... I need Jesus and coffee. Okay, one thought is basically many neurons firing together. And upon firing, they fire in a wave-like manner. So let's say maybe you took electricity in, uh, in college. You know that a particle travels in a wave-like way. In a wave. Okay, particle physics. Now, you take that into consideration and you start maybe understanding how thoughts create frequency. You maybe by that point have thought about, oh, is this what binaural beats or subliminal messages are? Is that why they have different frequencies for meditation? Is that why certain music genres are more sexy than others is that why some other music is more angelic and makes you dream and expand into the universe yeah exactly different waves can be emitted from your brain and you can receive different types of waves that being said where does gratitude fall into all of that gratitude personally and very generally, is the highest or one of the highest frequency thoughts you can create. Going a little bit further, it's as powerful as saying to the universe or to yourself or to the present moment that you are open to receive whatever it is in your highest interest. 
And that's why people who are grateful sometimes stumble upon circumstances or people or situations that are really aligned with the trajectory they're going in. So, again, going back to frequency and waves and vibration. What you hold inside, you will attract, right? Whether it's good or bad, the universe doesn't make a difference. It's like a huge hologram, a mirror of what you hold inside. You are the universe in that sense. So now being grateful is basically setting yourself to the vibration of receiving anything that you had or have set your mind to. Now I hope that made sense. The power of gratitude at any point in time is really strong. Now, I'm not saying that while you're going through something really tough, you need to be grateful for how shitty you feel. No. But know that everything that manifests in this physical realm, and sometimes shit happens, sometimes life happens, right? Omit that. But most of what you perceive in your reality is something that was a thought. So Technically, the present is already past. If you think in terms of your thoughts came first and then your reality manifested. So take that into consideration. Whatever you're going through. Empower yourself and take control of your reality. Learn to be grateful. And if you have a pattern of not being grateful, maybe you learned not to be grateful. If you notice that there's a pattern in your behavior that you dislike, take control, watch my other videos. Be grateful. Because the more you are, the more you'd be surprised that life does have your back. Peace. If you have any questions, let me know.